All right, good morning, guys. Back out at the range. A little bit different setup this time. I'm able uh, to show you a better way of me hitting the target. Got our bad guy set up down range. Not a very long shot, as you can see. I'm still working on my range, but I uh, just thought I'd come out here and have a good time and uh, show you all, hopefully, um, my best. But no promises. Still learning. <laughs> Going to start with the uh, Springfield XDM 9mm. Um, have a full 19 round mag, or actually, this is the uh, 12 round mag, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 13 round mag. And then I got the 19 over there, and that will be next, and then we'll do some Ruger shots too. Uh, let's go. So, all right, important lesson, remember your ear protection. I have them in my pocket, but that was loud. Um, as you can see, if I don't know if you can see that first shot, low and inside, um, still on the body, but nonetheless, not center mass, but not bad for first shot pulled it to the right a little bit which is weird because i'm left-handed so you would think i would pull to the left with my trigger finger but we'll see what i can do see if i can correct that all right ear protection back in and we're ready to go oh man that hurt Alright, let's go see how I did. <laughs> Alright, so one good thing I will say about this grouping is all 13 shots hit their mark. Um, pretty glad about that. Don't ever like to miss. Um, pretty well grouped. Um, pretty, I mean, this one got away from me and this one got away from me. I think that was my first, that was not my first shot. My first shot was like right here. So a couple got away from me. Um, but he would still be hurting wherever I put that at. So I'm not too awfully uh, disappointed. I'll show you standing at the target. The table is where I was shooting from. So that's about as far away from somebody that I would want to engage. Even that is kind of a far distance to want to have to engage somebody in a, um, a self-defense scenario. All right, 
I'm gonna go back at it this time with the 19 round mag and hopefully I can again hit all my shots. All right, let's go see how we did. So I counted them up and there's 30 shots on target out of 32. So I missed twice out of the 19 round mag. Um, never like to do that, but sometimes your trigger finger gets ahead of you a little bit. But I definitely went high this time. Um, this one got way away from me. I was trying to overcorrect for these and that's where that happened. And then these two or three right here um, got away from me trying to correct the lowness, um, but I did nail these four perfectly. Um, this one was almost dead, dead center. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how I handled my nine. I feel like I shoot the Ruger better. Um, I feel like it fits my hand better, but um, yeah, impressed. All right, I've changed out the target, gotten a fresh one in there. Um, let's go have fun with the Ruger.
right, I'm gonna reload and we'll do six more, five more, and then um, I'll show you my, my stuff. Well, I forgot to push record on the second round. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Right there. So yeah, I'm getting high. Um, but still, he wouldn't be going anywhere. I'm not over here. I'm not in a white. And I'm not off, off the body. So as long as I'm hitting body, I'll be okay. But that's for more... Um, you break into my house, I'm going to scare the crap out of you, gun. But I still like to be proficient in it. But yeah. Oh, big B. But yeah, double count. Four, six, eight, ten. Perfect. Yeah, I leave one of the uh, rounds, one of the chambers empty in the Ruger. Just for safety purposes, so I only shoot five shots at once. All right, we'll do one more go around with the Ruger since I feel like I owe you one. Didn't get to see the last shot placement, so we'll do one more and then we'll get on out of here. Okay. I wasn't aiming for the head, but that'll work in a self-defense situation. Um, if, I mean, it's definitely not ideal. Definitely not, but that one got away from me. All right, let's go check it out. So I was perfect again. Um, took his ear off, but um, not happy with that shot at all. But this one right here, I couldn't hit any more dead center, I don't think. If you look at the target, I don't think you could get any more center. Maybe up a, like a fourth of an inch, maybe up just a touch, but yeah, I'm definitely high and to the right, though. And that one, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, at least I put all my shots on target. All right, guys, back inside. Just got done cleaning my firearms. Um, I always think it's really important to clean your firearms after every firing. I mean, I only put 32 rounds through the Springfield and 15 through the Ruger. Um, but I don't get to take the guns home, so they're going to sit at my mom's, and they don't get fired a lot. So I just don't want that gunk sitting on my firearms. And they're tools and machines just like anything else. And upkeep, to me, is super important. So I want to keep my guns clean and pristine and in working order. You always want to have a clean firearm when, you're, when you need it. Um, also, for those of you that are looking to get into guns and um, are wanting to uh, purchase them, this is your best friend. And for those of you that own semi-automatic weapons, you know what this is. This is the finger saver. Um, so let's say, for example, you have your bullet and you have your magazine and you're trying to load your magazine. Now this already has 14 rounds in there. Big spring, it's a 19 round mag. And you gotta push the bullets down, compress the spring enough to slide that bullet in there. I'm not able to do it. I'm not that strong of a dude and I don't have great finger dexterity, plus I have that lube on my hands from cleaning. Um, but this is called an, what is it, an Upalula. And what it does is you just slide it over your mag like this. Yes, slide it over your mag like this. You compress, you push that in, and you compress. And all you gotta do, slide your bullet in, and you've loaded your magazine. Um, absolute must-have if you are getting a semi-automatic weapon, in my opinion. 
um, what the bummer is is it used to be included in the box when I bought my Springfield it didn't come in the box anymore had to buy it separately but it is by far the single best accessory I've bought in since owning firearms um, and but that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this really long video I hope um, you guys like seeing me shoot my guns I'm I enjoy bringing that to you guys it, it's fun for me um, but on to Oregon football um, I feel like Oregon has really um, made headway in recruiting um, we never saw this kind of recruiting even under chip um, let alone Helfrich so I'm really excited about the future I'm really excited to see if Taggart can coach on field as good as he can recruit because if he can do it man we're in for a really fun ride we are and recruiting has really picked up and it's still going strong um, we're supposed to have a really big july so we'll see how that goes uh, maybe even a bigger august because we have a nice camp coming up at the end of july so maybe even a bigger august to look forward to but as always guys go ducks and y'all have a great rest of your day and i'll see you around